Welcome to Area DMG. Welcome back to Area DMG. I am your host, Will Bussie, the Mile High Mouth, and today we're going to play this game from Nape Games and Jendu Soft Games. Dondu? Jendu? It's called Rectum, or Backwards Munker. I don't know. Nape Games 2019 just recently released on the Nintendo Switch eShop. Let's hit the start button. This is the beginning okay, I'm kind of, digging of my this right now. One of which I must give my all. My kingdom needs me. And I cannot leave them when they need me the most. Oh, huh, there's voice acting. This is very um, interesting soundtrack so far. And that's an interesting perspective right there on the right. Yeah. Evil sorceress cursed the five sacred crystals and enclosed them, the whole kingdom of Rekna, to absorb their vitality and become immortal. Or immoral. I think she's more using this to become immoral. Somebody cursed the sacred crystals. That is why I must take the sacred claymore, the only one capable of breaking the crystals, in order to defeat the sorceress and restore peace to the kingdom. Okay. Really? That's what you're gonna tell me? Okay, so Y button shuffles out your sword. X, A button's an arrow. Well, I guess I have unlimited arrows? Can I jump on them? Nope. Okay, you can wall jump. If no. That's actually pretty useful right there. Let's kill that. No. I guess you can't kill it. Oh well, we were trying. We wanted to kill it for you. We wanted to kill it for you to end the game. Oh, no. Ooh, let's see, can we swim? We can swim. Look at that weirdly, uh, look at that water, that water's weird. I think it's like, the, I think the water's like a 3D model, whereas, uh, uh can I grab onto those? Uh, there we go. Yeah, uh, we push down. Boop, boop, there we go. Wall jump. the gems. Gem power, 26. Temporary heart container. Nice. Mm, what, what, what's hitting me? No. Goodness gracious. Really? Let's just kill whatever that is. Can I, can I heal myself here? I can't heal myself there at all. Oh well. I just couldn't see that. And it, I couldn't see that enemy. doesn't like um restart that would be kind of annoying if it happened like that okay so we open up that treasure chest from shovel knight and okay let's be careful here there's a bat oh really so that's kind of ridiculous wait Got him. Yeah, that thing's so annoying. Ah, come on. It's like trying to, it's kind of difficult to actually, like, time your, um, really? Okay, this is what I'm going to do from now on. Really? Let's 
get it. Okay, there we go. Yeah, our character's a little bit floaty. Not exactly exact. Hmm. We already knew about spikes being things we didn't want to touch. Okay, let's hit this tree ant thing. Oh, that was, uh... Hmm. Uneventful. This actually looks pretty good in terms of, um... It makes me think of, like, early Game Boy Advance or... Like, well, it's much more than a Game Boy Color could do. So, maybe, like, a Neo Geo Pocket Color? This music's pretty good. Uh, no. Like, let's just touch all the spikes. That's a good idea. Yeah. It's because, like, the character doesn't seem like they're as responsive as they should be. Just tap a little and your character goes a mile. Mm. But as a side-scrolling platformer so far, this isn't too bad. In fact, I would... I would say it's pretty good, except that like sometimes you don't know if you're gonna if you're gonna really jump when you hit that button. Like it's like there's a little bit of lag or something. I'm not sure that like the best way to put my finger. Uh, I'm trying to figure out the best way to describe it. Okay, here's where I press the button, and like a second later, you jump. Like a millisecond later, and that's bad. And the character, you just tap, and you go like a whole full character length. And is there momentum? Sort of. I mean, when you're in air, it's not really... It's gonna... Mm. Okay, so this so far is, um... Rankum? Or Rankum? What's the name of the skin? It's like Munker backwards or something. I don't know if that means anything. Wreck them. Uh, that's kind of a bad. Um, it's, it's not the name. Just sounds bad. Oh, no, there we go. No, I fell into that fire. Really? That's so dumb. So bad. Oh, that was my fault. Really. Increase our power. But yeah, that music is pretty awesome. Everything else so far is just kind of a little generic, I guess. Got him. Okay, let's get this too. Oh, yay. Power is increased. Gold points. Speed up. Oh goody. Like that's semi not useful. Especially considering how this character has a tendency to like end up hitting stuff that they don't we didn't really intend them to hit. Because of like the weird momentum that the character has. Okay. Uh, Forest of Illusion 2. Oh, well, that's interesting. Multiple paths. Well, what do you guys think so far? If this looks like a game you think you'd like to try, um, yeah, let me know in the comments below.
above me, can I? Yeah, the problem is your character really, except for these, which, yeah, except for, um, like, your bow and arrow, your sword's kind of a little useless without it being like, I mean, your character pulls it, um, there, so there's no real hitbox except for right in front of your character for it. I kind of feel like that's a problem. Also, when you get to these, you, you, you stick to the wall, right? But you're way sticky. You can't, like, instantly jump from it. Like in, say, a game like Hollow Knight or something. Or Momodora. Yeah. So aside from, like, some weirdly awkward controls... Yeah, everything else about this is fine. I do wish it controlled a little bit better. Yeah, the physics are off. Come on. Let's get that. Careful of traps that fall. touch anything that's like in that yeah really oh wow but yeah um this is um rectum let me know in the comments what you think rectum didn't even hurt him anyways um hit that like button that share button that subscribe button ring that little bell so you're notified whenever we have a brand new video here on area dmg and until next video comes out you are now caught up morning maya